Hi there wildlife watchers, I'm Chantelle, I work for the London Wildlife Trust and today we're going to be learning all about decomposers, so let's go. Decomposers are made up of the FBI. FBI, fungi, bacteria and invertebrates. But what do decomposers do? Well, let's break it down. And that's your first clue. You see, decomposers are living organisms that break down dead and decaying plant and animal matter. Some examples of dead and decaying plant and animal matter include leaf litter, twigs and logs, old food like these bananas, dead animals like this poor spider tangled in a web, and animal waste like these splodges of bird poo. Fungi are one of Earth's major decomposers. There are over hundreds of thousands of known species of fungi in the world and over millions of unknown species. But did you know that mold is a type of fungi? Now, you've probably seen mold before, perhaps in your kitchen, and it looks a little bit like this. A very mouldy case of coconut. Similarly to the seeds of a plant, fungi release spores which help them to reproduce and spread. Now these spores are airborne, which means they're in the air all around us. These spores will attach themselves to a surface and feed on living matter, in turn breaking it down. And so before our very eyes, we can see this coconut being broken down by fungi. And as I said before, there are loads of different types of fungi, which feed on other materials such as dead or decaying trees and wood. Bacteria are single-celled microscopic organisms, which just means that they're so tiny that we can't see them with just our eyes. We'd need a fancy bit of kit called a microscope, which would make them a lot bigger. Even this magnifying glass doesn't seem to be cutting it. Can you see any bacteria? Anything? No? Nah, me neither. Just like fungi spores, bacteria is all around us. On our hands, and that's why we wash them. But bacteria isn't all bad, and we've actually got good bacteria living inside our bodies, helping our digestive system to break down our food. Now bacteria also breaks down other things, like plant matter, the bodies of dead animals, and our food scraps. Now last but not least, I is for invertebrates. There are many different types of invertebrate decomposers such as flies, millipedes and earthworms. But did you know that there could be a decomposer living in your house right now? Now you might have guessed it, it's woodlice. Did you know there are up to 40 species of woodlice in the UK? And they are not actually insects, they are crustaceans, so they are closely related to shrimp and crabs. Their name gives away the fact that they feed on decaying wood, and another funky name is a wood pig. But they also feed on leaf litter, dead animals, and even animal waste. They also eat their own waste to retrieve the copper they've lost. You might find wood lice in your house, but a woodlouse's favourite hideout is somewhere where it's damp and dark. So if you lift up a rock or turn over a log, you're likely to find one. But always make sure you cover it up again very carefully. So we've looked at a few examples of decomposers, but why are they so important? Well, for starters, without them, there'd be a lot more waste hanging around. But they're also known as nature's great recyclers. And that's because as they feed and break down materials, they also release nutrients into the environment. So for example, when an earthworm is breaking down materials in the soil, the waste that they produce is vital for plants to grow. And that's why they're a part of the food chain. And to be honest, we wouldn't be able to survive without them. I think they're a lot better at dealing with waste than us humans are. So I hope you've learned how to break it down with decomposers and I encourage you to go and find some of your own. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.